high speeds and narrow roads, Dirt 3 makes a return to its rally roots. Countless time trials keep cars flying down rural paths across varying conditions and offer up abundant variety in other disciplines. Featuring a spotlight on Gymkhana, snow flurries, and a bunch of new locations, Dirt 3 proves itself a vast and exciting racer. Continuing the series trend of high concept menu design, Dirt 3 brings out triangles as the design choice of the day. Every season and event is wrapped in unfolding triangles and it's easy to navigate the stylish menus. Dirt 2's magical world traveling trailer has been kicked to the curb in favor of a more direct approach. In Dirt 3, you're already a professional driver who's been signed by a cheerful agent. This disembodied voice guides your path through events. Unfortunately, the agent is an absolute bore and your mechanic and fan manager add little to the experience. Hi, welcome to Dirt 3. I'm Ellie. Luckily for Dirt, the wrappings that fuel the racing are a minor factor. Different times of day and changing weather make the world of Dirt look stunning. From the cockpit of a buggy, you'll be blinded by the kicked up snow from other cars and you'll marvel at the sun setting over the Kenyan horizon. Villagers dart across the back roads of Scandinavia and fireworks light up the Monaco sky as you dash around the track. Dirt 3's racing is satisfying. Every car has its own nuances and the terrain changes have a real impact on the handling. While it's not a perfect simulation, gearheads will still be satisfied with the way cars maneuver under duress. Learn the brake points or tumble blindly into Norwegian lakes. Sliding cleanly from mud to tarmac is distinct, and the tense moment just before losing control is as thrilling as ever. Like its predecessor, Dirt 3 offers six tuning options to help deal with different terrain types and give the vehicle the handling it requires. Automatic tweaks happen between races, but every element is always open to customization, assuming one knows what they're doing. Gymkhana plays a huge role in Dirt 3. It's a skill-heavy mode that tests one's ability to keep a car under control, be it taking a drift up against the wall without scraping or pulling off clean donuts. But Codemasters heard what the fans wanted and deliver a huge amount of old-fashioned rally content. It's you against the clock in these challenges, and they're a blast, especially when paired with the high-caliber cars and the Trailblazer discipline, my personal favorite. The AI provides strong competition, especially at higher difficulties, so there's never a lack of challenge, especially in the timed events. That carries over to the multiplayer mode, too. From the serious time trials of Pro Tour to the lighthearted jam sessions, there's something for everyone. Now when it comes to car choice, Codemasters made an odd decision. There's no longer money changing hands, either from winning races or purchasing cars. Instead, teams and sponsors provide vehicles depending on one's driver level. This means that the garage is filled with every available car, not just the favorites. And when it comes to race time, the newest available cars provide the biggest bonuses for driving, which makes some models irrelevant if you just want to level up. This is annoying for collectors who want the perfect set or anyone who loves a particular model. While the announcers may be a bit of a drag and the garage feels unorganized, Dirt 3 provides such a large amount of content, it's hard to be turned off by a few blemishes. The tension of flying down a snowy back road at 120 miles an hour is too great to deny, and Dirt 3 delivers on the thrills. For more on Dirt 3, head on over to IGN.com.